How's it going everybody? Topher Welsh here from VisualFXTuts.com and VideoHive.net. I got a great tutorial for you here today. We're going to be creating some fake tilt shift along with the uh, timing effect to make it look like stop motion. A lot of, uh, well this is what we're going to be creating right now. So you see we got this nice little jumpy timing makes it kind of look like stop motion and we got the tilt shift going on looks pretty good okay so a lot of people have been making these throughout the net just like uh, this guy Keith Loudit he makes some really amazing tilt shifts now his his are actually shot with a Canon 5D Mark II but uh, you know you can do it with any camera and After Effects I think he actually uses an actual tilt shift lens though but you know what you can see is you can see this nice lens blur up here, and then the whole effect is to make everything kind of look like toys, like toy stop motion. So the reasoning behind behind why it looks like this and why your mind is all like, what the hell is going on here, is because there's such a shallow depth of field. If you were to make a miniature set and film a camera with a 35 millimeter lens and you know have it right down there, in the miniature set, this is what it would look like with that shallow depth of field. So, all right, so let's jump right into it. What we're going to do is I have this uh, nice looking parking stuff I shot at the parking garage, just basic, basic uh, footage. It's kind of jumpy because it's HDB. So I'm going to pull this down and put it right in to a new comp. Now I'm going to hit Control K. To bring up my composition settings, I'm going to make this actually 720 by 540 and then make it square pixels. And then I can just pull this down. There we go. Okay, so that way we're not using too much render time and stuff like that. So I'm going to start mine right with these uh, two cars as they pull up and stuff. I'm going to hit B to set my work area. Run down here a little bit more, see where when those cars leave. We'll hit N to end the work area. You can right click right here, trim comp to work area. Okay, so we have these cars just chilling and they're going to do their thing. Um, so basically, all we have is we have this basic footage right here. But what we're going to do, is, first of all, I'm going to up the contrast. We're going to do color correction, curves. And we're just going to take this and pull it down just a little bit. And then give a little curve right there. And maybe bring this over this way a little more. You know, just give it a little bit more of a dramatic feel. A basic looking, you know, kind of look, for lack of a better word. So, now what we're going to do, we're going to go into here and choose Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. So what this adjustment layer is going to do is zoom out just a little bit. Let's see, this adjustment layer is about that big. And what we're going to do is going to do an effect, blur and sharpen, lens blur. Now we could choose Gaussian blur, fast blur, all these other blurs. But this lens blur, I chose this just because it seems like it uh, makes it look a little bit more authentic since we would be dealing with like a tilt shift lens. We weren't to do this in After Effects, so we're going to make sure we check Repeat Edge Pixels, and there we go. So what I want to do is I actually want to make this one bigger, because what we're going to do is we're going to mask this off, and then feather the edges. So let's go into here, let's grab our mask tool, and we're going to go like this and pull a mask about, you know, that big. Now, since that's going to be the dimensions of our, oops, since that's going to be the dimensions of our layer, we're going to pull it down here, and then go in into the mask, and we can just hit F to bring up the mask feather properties. I'm going to throw mine into 150 pixels on the feather. So what you can see now is we got like this nice little gradient on the lens blur. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually go in here and duplicate Control D and duplicate this adjustment layer and just pull this one 
up here and we can actually make this a little bit bigger so that it makes our uh, our focus this little area right here so you're already kind of getting the uh, toy look here on the way these look because of the shallow depth of field now so we got this out of focus and this out of focus and this is nice and crisp and in focus so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna render this one out because to create that time effect because anyone could just you know add a couple adjustment layers and say okay good to go but to make it really look like stop motion and like it's uh, toys or models or miniatures you need to render this out and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that and just hit control M or do composition make movie and do that and we're gonna name that uh, tilt shift parking garage dot mov I already have one of those there so I'm just saving a little bit of time I already rendered this out so we're gonna no cancel and just pretend like I hit this okay so <coughs> excuse me so I brought this movie that we had just made in and brought it in and what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag it into the new comp button. So what this does is it actually flattens the lens blur, the con uh, the contrast curves effect, and both adjustment layers into one video file because the lens blur effects are very, very RAM intensive. So it's going to take a while to draw each frame when you try to RAM preview. So to take a little bit of time out, I just rendered one file out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use this one as our basis for the time part of it. So what we're gonna do is since we have it in a new composition, we're gonna go down to effect, time, and posterize time. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna change the frame rate, uh, well virtually change the frame rate. The actual frame rate of the composition is gonna stay at 2997, but this posterize time changes the frame rate of this layer. So we're going to actually pull this down to about 8 and then let's RAM preview and see what it looks like. Well, let's not RAM preview because that's going to actually take forever. So let's pretend like I RAM preview and render it out and this is what we're going to have. Nice little kind of jumpy-ish tilt shift effect. So there you go. That is my tutorial for the day. I hope you guys enjoy. My name is Topher Welsh from visualeffectstuts.com and videohive.net. I will see you guys in the next tutorial and as always please leave your comments in the comment section below. You can leave video responses all kinds of stuff like that on the YouTube. And please give me ideas for what you guys want to see in tutorials. So that's it for me, and I will catch you guys in the next tutorial. Later.